Uh, today, we learned a man will spend 24 years in prison for stabbing and killing a woman in Minneapolis. 46-year-old Benjamin Love pleaded guilty to the crime he committed in a downtown parking ramp last summer. Love admitted to trying to rob 31-year-old Mai Yur Cha and her friends when he stabbed her in her heart. WCCO's Reg Chapman was in court this morning for the sentencing. Benjamin Love showed no emotion as family and friends of Mayur Cha read their victim impact statements to the judge. Because of Benjamin Love's horrendous and selfish actions that night, we all even lost a part of ourselves. Bao Hansen was in the parking ramp with Cha back in July of 2017. She says witnessing such a violent attack has shaken her to her core. Benjamin Love would never know what it's like to walk down the streets. Constantly had to look over my shoulders. Even in the safest places. None of the victim's family wanted their faces on camera, but wanted everyone to hear how love's actions changed their lives forever. My baby sister, the young lady you killed, represent all that is good. She was kind, genuine, giving, gentle, thoughtful, and most of all, brave. She helped everyone. She probably would have helped you if you asked. A montage of Cha's life played on a video monitor as victim impact statements were read. A family friend, Dr. Daniel Hess, expressed his anger for a man he says takes pleasure in hurting others. He is nothing more than a reptile, a sociopath. Love never looked away until a video was played of Cha's seven year old son, Aiden. He spoke directly to Love, telling him, It's not okay to kill my mom. The video prompted an apology from the confessed killer. Family, I know. I know. I know they probably don't believe me, but uh, it was an accident. You know, it wasn't it wasn't meant to happen, and, and, and uh, I wouldn't have paid the consequence for my stupid mistakes. Rex Chapman, WCCO, Four News. Love told the family he understands the pain the family is going through because at the age of 13, he witnessed the murder of his mother. Cha's family said no amount of prison time will ease their pain.